Hi folks, this is Peach Mario with a new series um, about how we can improve the documentation or the contribution to the documentation of TeleWiki. Uh, we are here at the TeleTalk forum and uh, SEC has uh, created um, a post which says edit documentation in TeleWiki and use GitHub API to create pull requests directly and there is a little demo uh, which is active and I'll use the demo um, and show how all the things uh, or how the things should work or can work. Then there is uh, Mohammed which uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, posted a post and help request for uh, um, filter operators. There are a lot of them especially, uh, especially uh, the new operators and there can never be enough documentation for filter operators. Uh, and with um, one of the videos in the series, I will start to uh, create um, yeah, a pull request for the sort on operator. Yeah, let's go to the demo, which is uh, linked here. Yeah, so this, this demo, which we have here, um, I did already open it. And there are some things uh, to prepare. Yeah? So the first video will be about the preparations, which uh, have to be done only once, yeah, and then uh, yeah, the fun, the fun can start. So the first thing um, we will need to have is a GitHub account. Yeah, so if you have one, uh, then you can skip this video and go to the next one. Um, but I will directly show it, show it to you. It looks like this. If you go to GitHub.com, and you have the possibility to sign up or sign in. Uh, if you sign up, it starts with the email address and so on. Yeah, uh, I did already uh, create uh, a user which is called TLV, um, yeah, which I created already, and this is pretty much empty. Yeah, so there is not very much um, with this user. So just show some settings uh, which uh, are important or which should be there. So there is a little bit about your profile. Um, so you should give it a new name, let's say settings and not profile. Yeah. So there is the public profile and this information is used here and in the overview. Yeah. Then yeah, you can uh, fill the forms uh, as you like. Then there is some account settings, some appearance settings. Yeah. And there is one which is really important. Uh, which makes the readability of uh, TeleWiki code much better because default for the tab size is 8. And if you switch this to 4, uh, it will be perfect uh, to view the TeleWiki code because we also use tabs for indentation, code indentation, uh, and code indentation 4, 4 characters per tab, uh, makes the code much more readable. Yeah, so this is something you should really set so it's appearance and the tab size. Yeah, then there is some uh, accessibility uh, settings if you need it, and then there are some uh, notifications so you can set up uh, how many mails if you want or if you want uh, if you don't want any mails at all. Yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, so if you click here, uh, it goes to the uh, overview. Or if you click here, then you can select the elements that you want to change. Yeah? I click continue here uh, and start to create uh, the default README. Um, yeah, there is some documentation. So this one only says, Hi, I'm TLV. This repo is used to support some tiddly wiki related uh, videos. Okay, change it, commit it, commit new file. And there it is now, I have uh, an official space and then you get a nice overview. Yeah? So if I click here, uh, I'm here and if I click this uh, till week account, uh, then you can have an overview. Yeah, that's basically it. And in the next video, we will have a closer look uh, how we can sign the contributor license agreement.
which is needed to uh, yeah uh, uh, to submit something to the TeleWiki main repository. Um, yeah, have fun and subscribe and like if you like these videos. And that's it. See you later.